Hey guys, so this is a quick, quick um, video on my skin care regimen. Um, I'm basically still using the same things that I've uh, told you guys about in the past. Um, but I just wanted to share what happened to my skin <laughs> back in December 2010. Um, so here in North Carolina, back in December, it got really, really cold really, really fast, like unseasonably cold. And the air was really dry and I was not ready. So during the summer, I typically um, wash my face with some type of natural soap. And right now I'm using um, Chagrin or Chagrin Valley soaps. And I'm using the Neiman Tea Tree and the, I think this is Carrot and Honey. I think it's Carrot and Honey. <laughs> but um, I was kind of using both of those during the summer. And... Um, for moisturizer, I was using this Equate Sensitive Skin Lotion. It's a very light lotion. Um, and I can typically use that with no problems during the summer. Um, and sometimes in the summer I'll use my mix of shea butter and coconut oil. But I don't use it as often because it's heavier. I like to use something lighter in the, um, in the summer. Well, anyway, I was still using those products and then the weather just turned really dry so um what happened was my eczema which i have all over my face <laughs> just flared up really really bad like i would wake up in the mornings and i would have these white patches just all over or whatever so the area that got affected the worst was this down here right there and it was like two spots over here and you can't see them you know how they were back in December because it's February now so it's kind of healed up but the areas got really really dark and they were just really patchy like white patches were all over that part of my face so it probably took a good month <laughs> to kind of get those areas back into alignment and so what I had to do was stop using this <laughs> and switch to using my shea butter and coconut oil. And I would apply it several times during the day. This is just, the healing properties in shea butter are amazing to me. And I just thank God for shea butter because it has really healed up my skin. I mean, I was so embarrassed to go out with my face looking like that. Um, that I would wear, I was wearing makeup like every day and I don't wear makeup like that. Um, but I was wearing it every single day because I just didn't want people to see my face like that. Um, I didn't take any pictures. However, if you check out my, the video that I posted before this one, um, you can see in the beginning clips that my skin is very, very dark right here and on this side and right here um so if you want to see kind of what it looked like you can go back to that video but um yeah it was really really bad so since that time like i said i've continued to use the the chagrin or chagrin valley soaps um and i just apply my shea butter and coconut oil mix after I um, wash my face. And that's pretty much it. Um, I still use my little exfoliating pads every, I don't know, maybe one to two times weekly just to get rid of the extra dead skin and stuff like that and just to freshen up my face. Um, but really that's, you know, that's what I was doing before. So um, nothing's really changed and I'm using the same products. They've been working great. So um, I just wanted to share what happened when the weather changed back in December um, just to update you guys. Hope you're doing well and if you have any questions please let me know. Bye.